Some of the most popular games on Roblox are exploiting children's Robux. So today, I'll be going on to some of the most popular Roblox games that are pay to win to show you how much money that you have to spend to actually get some of the best things in the game. Okay, for the first game, I'm going to be playing Pet Simulator 99, and I know that there's other Pet Simulator games out there, but this is the most popular one, and also is the most recent one from the developers from Big Games Pets. Let's check it out and see if how, to see how pay to win this is actually. Okay, just a heads up, this is my first time ever playing Pet Simulator 99. I did play Pet Simulator X, but I personally didn't continue because it was just way too pay to win. But I guess we'll pick two pets, we'll pick um, these two for now. And let's check out the game right now. And whoa, there's already a lot of things you can do in this game. There are free rewards, but there's vending machines, which makes me think that like you have to roll for better pets. Mechanics, okay, let's just skip all of that, okay. So the pets I have right now, can I even check my inventory actually? I don't think I can, okay, so I guess we just click on the on, on the coins and they just gain more coins in general. But what I'm really looking for is like how much Robux you can spend in this game and see what kind of insane pet you can get. Let me see if I can go to like the store maybe. So the chances of me getting these pets, like these are just the basic ones, it's very, uh, it's just, it's all even. But as soon as we get to the next um, set of pets, it seems like the chances of getting the best pet from this egg is a 6.45%, which I know that's low, but it's much better than like a lot of other games. Let's see if I can get it. Uh, and, nope, I don't get it. Uh, but, okay, so we have our pets here, and this one, uh, what is it? This one there has over 1.4 billion that exists. And there's a sale for the superhero egg to get this pet right here, the Titanic Bat Cat. Which, like, if you if you spend, um, what is it, I guess around 3,200 Robux, then you get 10 eggs. The thing about this is that, like, it's on sale, so it entices, like, like little children or just people in general to actually go for this package. Because, like, you, they, don't, they don't have to spend 800 more Robux if it wasn't on sale. Then we have some of the favorites. I'm assuming this is favorites from people that actually uh, bought these, like, throughout the, like, the amount of time this game has been up. And there's super drops, which is 2,400. 400 Robux. Oh my gosh. Better luck with breakable drop hands. I have no idea what that is. Magic eggs for 1,200 Robux. Bonus a chance catching golden and rainbow pets. And VIP, tons of benefits and rewards. That, like, honestly, out of these, like, the VIP sounds very... How would I say it? Pay, like, very scammy in a way. Because, like, um, it's just tons of benefits and rewards. And personally, I don't know what the benefits and rewards are. But like, it seems like if you buy this with real money, then you get a big advantage compared to other people that don't buy this. And there's other permanent passes, and oh my gosh, 2,400 Robux for double stars and clink. That's insane, that's almost $25. An ultra lucky 800, like still, huge hunter, more like hatching active hues. 3,250, that's 30, that's basically $32. I know they want to monetize their game and all, but like, these prices are ridiculous. Bundles unlimited items, super magnet, club coins, loot back. That, why, why, do, why is that not a thing with regular, like just like with the regular game? Like why do I have to spend 1,200 Robux for my pets to like, grab everything around the map? Boss lucky, boss lucky uh, blocks may randomly appear in your area. 2.4K, oh my god. 4,005, 4.5k Robux for hidden treasure. Greatly uh, increases the chance of random drops when activated. That's insane. Like, why would anyone get this? And there's a last chance boss mimic, a uh, boss chest mimic, which destroying a breakable can reveal a boss chest. Like, oh my gosh. For the next game on the list, we're going to be playing Toilet Tower Defense, which has over 140,000 people playing at the moment. And 830,000 favorites and 3.2 billion visits. Wow. But let's check out the game first before we make any assumptions, I should say. And see if they have like a like a gambling system, like a roulette, or like you get to spin for like towers. Who knows? Oh my gosh. Okay, so I'm assuming the coins is just the regular currency by just playing the game like like normally. But for $25 or 25 or 2.5k Robux, it's 20k of these coins. And if you want gems, if you want to get 10,000, it's gonna it's gonna set you a thousand dollar. Oh, not I said a thousand. Never, not a thousand. A hundred dollars for 10,000 gems, 
which is actually ridiculous. 5,000 Robux for four. Oh my god. Okay, so uh, if we okay, let me go back to the shop here. Okay, so if we go back up, exclusive booster crates. Like, look at all these. These towers right here seem to have seem to give you a huge advantage if you pay. Because I know like this one, like it's probably not the best, and this, but this one percent one that's AOE. Look, look, look how ridiculous those stats are compared to like these other ones. Look, like it just blows these two out of the water. Like these, it makes these two irrelevant at that point. And same with here, like 70% exclusive booster. I know these are boosters, but like this is a combination of both of them. And also this, even though this one costs less gems to buy, like purchase, the chance of getting DJ TV man is 0.1%, which honestly like, wow. Okay, just by the title of this, right, exclusive units, that just, it just, it just makes this seem pay to win. Like, look, like look at, look at these towers. like. You see how OP these things are? Look at that type. Oh my gosh. That is terrible. Like, why can't they, like, I don't like where you can, like, like these crates where you're like, oh, you have a chance, like a very small chance of getting them. Like, I know you're guaranteed to get these if you just use Robux. But the problem is, is that, like, if you want to, like, like be part of like, the top, like, I don't even know, like, 1% of, like, the people that play this game, you probably have to buy these towers that are super overpowered. And, if you do combine the cost of all these, I think it's around like tw over like twenty dollars, which might not sound a lot, but like if they keep on um was it releasing exclusive units in the near in the future, then the price of these like will go up and up and can be terrible. It's just absolutely terrible. Okay, so for the next game I'm gonna be talking about, it's Bed Wars, which came from a Minecraft, but it just transferred over to Roblox quite well, as you can tell. And let's see if this game is really pay to win or not. Okay, here we are in the lobby. Um, okay, I pl what was that? I, I kind of played this game like a long, long time ago, so I don't know what happened to it at this point. Is there like a shop? There's a battle pass. And you buy it. For the battle pass, you have to spend 800 Robux. Um, and in the battle pass, I'm, yeah, okay, so the battle pass, it just, it just gives you some, it seems like, um, I think it's just, yeah, gadgets. Uh, was it emotes? It doesn't seem like they. Yeah, it doesn't seem like they have any. Like, oh wait, I was just gonna say I don't think they have any like exclusive like classes or, or kits, for example. But it seems like there's this one right here, which like it might be good. But like the thing. Oh, then we got one. At least this is free right here. But the thing is, is that like they shouldn't have like these kids locked behind like a paywall because I believe. If I do remember correctly, you can't buy these with actual, like, like I don't think there's any, like, well, you can't win with, like, what, I, I, you can't actually buy these with, um, what's it, with any currency if this game has any, but, like, instead you gotta spend Robux, 800, that's battle, ba like, this is what I'm talking about, like, these, all of these are behind the paywall. And there's no way you can actually earn any currency, like, in-game currency to actually buy these. Like, if they made it so where you can actually, like, if they had, like, a currency system and you can actually buy these without having to spend Robux, it, it would be fine, because then that'll incentivize more people to stay on the game and be happy with it, because, like, like, they can actually work their way up to, like, a better kit that they want. But since these all are behind either the Battle Pass or just through, um, what was it, Robux paywalls, like, it just makes this game very money-hungry. But honestly, thank you for watching this video. Please like and subscribe, and I'll see you all next time.